Do you ever wish it would be easy to drag or swipe a component between anchor points? Well, we have just a delightful tip for you. In our JetChat app, wouldn't it be nice if you could swipe on a message to reply to it? For that, we can use the anchor draggable modifier. Anchor draggable lets you drag a component between anchor points and then settle at the closest anchor when the gesture is released. Let's start by looking at our message component and what we want to achieve. There are two states, resting, the default state of the message, with no offset of our message at all, or an offset of zero, and replying, where the message will be offset by 48 dp. When a user drags the message, we want to change the offset following their gesture movement. For added delight, we also want to show a reply icon behind the message. In our message composable, Let's start by creating an anchor draggable state instance. This holds information like the current offset. We set the anchor draggable state to its initial value, resting. And then we define our anchor points. Finally, we update the state with these anchors using a side effect. Now we want to detect drag gestures on the message by adding the anchor draggable modifier. This will connect to the state, dispatch drag deltas in the specified orientation, and make sure we settle at one of our anchor points when the drag ends. Anchor draggable state gives us the current offset, or where our message is dragged to. We'll then use the offset modifier and the state's require offset function to read the current offset of our component. We can now swipe the message between the two anchor points. Nice. By the way, modifier.anchor draggable makes sure that right to left layouts are handled out of the box. Anchor draggable also integrates with overscroll. When we drag past our replying anchor, we want to indicate that the message has reached its bounds and cannot be dragged any further. To do that, we first obtain an overscroll effect instance from scrollable defaults. Alternatively, we could implement a custom effect here too. Now we pass our overscroll effect to the anchor draggable modifier. This will dispatch drag deltas to either the anchor draggable state or the overscroll effect, depending on whether the gesture is in or outside of the bounds. To display the effect, we will attach the overscroll modifier to our message composable. As you can see, when we now drag past the bounds, the message is stretched just like any lazy list. As a final touch, we want to animate the message back to the resting state after it's been dragged to the replying anchor. We use a launched effect and a snapshot flow to get notified about changes to the anchor draggable state's settled value, which indicates the anchor that the state is currently settled at. We could also request focus here to show the keyboard and reply to the message. If the settled value changes to replying, we wait for 300 milliseconds to debounce and then animate the state back to the resting anchor. To recap, in this episode, we learned about using anchor draggable to build a component that can be dragged between anchor points. We configured the anchor points, used anchor draggable state to hold the current offset of the component, and used modifier at anchor draggable to recognize drag gestures. And finally, we added some delight using the overscroll APIs. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the documentation.